guys so basically this rapture dream had actually already happened prior to like maybe a week ago something like that and i don't know why man but i just kept pushing and pushing off to making this video i feel like nobody will believe me blah 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 but i'm just sick of it i'm i'm done all right regardless i'm gonna make this video <sighs> so how my dream started off is that i was in my brother's room and me and one of my old friends um he's actually in jail now but he was one of my old friends and we were play fighting and then we were play fighting on my brother's bed just messing around and, I, and then i made a prideful joke and i said yo imagine that jesus came right now and that you went to hell and i went to heaven and i started I was like ha ha and i started laughing about it and then all of a sudden i heard a noise like this big trumpet sound it was like do do yeah, i'm actually gonna play the sound right now this is exactly what i heard oh and prior to me falling asleep and getting that rapture dream right before my rapture dream had happened i actually watched a rapture like a, not like the rapture i watched a rapture dream like somebody else's testimony and the exact sound that this man heard is the exact sound that i heard and he was like around my age as well and this is the sound i'm about to play So basically, guys, that was the sound that I heard. And it was so loud, bro. Like, it was as if somebody was... Imagine somebody playing the loudest sound in your house, but you knew it was coming from the outside. And that's what it was like. And then I saw, like, this light. It was like, it was like a figure. And it was full, like, all around it was like a golden light. It was a like glory around it. It was like just, like this figure that was in the clouds but i couldn't see his actual face and it was going like this as if it was walking and i saw spirits like actually coming like these little balls like light light it was like these white balls of light coming up into the sky it was like one went this way one went that way and then one went straight up but really slowly and then it was i, I had actually missed the rapture and i remember falling down to my knees because i was so dismayed and ashamed of how i missed it. i didn't even know how i asked god I was like, how did i miss it and remember, right before the actual rapture had happened, I had made a prideful joke. And I asked God, why did I miss the rapture? And he told me these were the reasons why I actually wrote them down. I was left behind because of my pride, my arrogance, and my sympathy for people. And when people ask me about the problem and stuff like that, it's very hard for me to have sympathy for them. It's very hard. I've been praying about it. I have faith about it, everything. Very hard for, for me. I've been trying to grow more into all of that. And then praying in the spirit rather than my mind. I kept praying in my mind rather than through the spirit. And that's what was holding me back as well. Especially with worshiping as well, guys. We got to worship through the spirit rather than the mind. And then my lust and my anger. I would let my lust take control of me and bound me to sin. And my anger as well would cause me to sin. You see, guys, anger is not always a bad thing. But it's what it causes you to sin. It causes you to have fits of rage. And that's what, what helped me back as well. And I, I wasn't even thinking of these things at all. At all. I was I was so 100% sure I was going to be in the rapture. And I thought I was going to be taken up. And it was only three spirits as well. It was only three these white balls of light that went into the sky. It was only three of them. Out of my whole like development of houses, it was three spirits that went up to the sky. Everybody else got left behind. That's how much of a handful was really going to go to heaven. The path to heaven is so narrow, guys. We need to realize this is not like, oh, well, I'm going to say a prayer and now I'm going to go to heaven. That's not how it works. If you really go in depth with the Bible, you'll realize that's not how it works. I don't know whoever taught this baby gospel, but it's not true. You need to really devote your life to Jesus Christ Almighty. Because he's coming soon. Be ready, please. So I just warn you guys. Please be ready. Evaluate yourself. If you are truly living for Jesus Christ Almighty, the one and only God, are you truly living for him? Have you truly sacrificed the things that are holding you back? Like, I just stopped. I recently stopped playing PS4 completely. I gave everything to my little brother. I stopped playing 2K, everything. Because why? Because it will make me have fits of rage. And I will start screaming at people online. I will start screaming at everybody online for a five-minute game on 2K. And then I realized that I told my... I actually realized... I'm really disrespecting my God right now over a five minute game. And I'm never going to talk to this person ever again in my life. And I disrespected my God over a game. Do you know how dumb that sounds? 
And I told myself that, and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm really doing this. I can't believe I just disrespected my God over a PS4 game. Over a temporary PS4 game is why I disrespected my God, and that was my reasoning behind it. I had no excuse. Sin is sin. I could not justify it. And I realized that, and that's why I gave up my PS4. I had to sacrifice it. I was putting hours to my PS4, and then 15 minutes to God and say, thank you, God, for this day. Thank you, thank you for my food. Amen. Go to sleep. But, but I wouldn't give him time to talk back. Guys, when we pray, we got to not just pray and be like, thank you, God, for this day, and then go to sleep. No, man. Pray and then say, Lord, your servant is listening. Please speak. So he can speak back to you. We don't give him any time to speak back. That's our problem. I have the same problem as well. We need to truly devote ourselves and sacrifice the things that are distracting us from God and be honest with ourselves and reevaluate ourselves. Are we truly being a disciple of Jesus Christ and being a true Christian? Or are we putting on this phony image for people? Please, guys, evaluate yourself. And sometimes you're going to have to be hard on yourself. You're going to have to be like, yeah, I really do need to change. And you have to be honest with yourself. And I say this out of love, not out of hate or anything to be prideful or boastful. I'm just saying this out of love. So you guys don't ha actually have to miss the rapture the same way I did in my dream. So now when the real rapture comes, I'm going to be ready. Please, guys, I beg of you, truly live for Jesus Christ Almighty. I want you to have a beautiful day. And thank you for everything. Matter of fact, let's end in prayer. <sighs> thank you, Lord, for this day. And for the food you have provided us. And for anybody who's listening to this video that had no food provided, I say in Jesus Christ, almighty name, that you provide them with food and anything financially that they're dealing with, a heartbreak that they're dealing with, mentally, physically, anything, my Lord. Help these people that are watching right now. Speak to them. Give them dreams and visions, my Lord, because the end times are coming soon. Lord, we just thank you for everything, Jesus. Give them boldness to be as bold as a lion. I give them this passionate love for you. This fire of the Holy Spirit. Put it upon them. And let them know that when they go through things, it's to build their character for the blessing upon them. Not to destroy them. Because you love them. Thank you, my Lord, for everything. Please, please, my Lord. Help them be motivated to move forward in life. In your word rather than their own. Help them sacrifice things. And sacrifice all the distractions that are pulling them away from you, Lord. Lord, thank you. Just thank you for everything, Jesus. You truly are the one and only God. Jesus, you are king. You're coming soon. Let us be ready. In Jesus' almighty name, amen. I want you guys to have a very beautiful day. God bless you all. Anybody that's listening to this video, say your prayer request down in the comments. I'm going to try and read all of them. God bless you. Have a beautiful day, all right? Have you thanked God for today? Be ready.